Hi, this is Vasvi from At Home Tuition. So, in a previous video, uh, we had learned how the coefficients and the roots of a quadratic polynomial is related, right? And here, let us see how a cubic polynomial, in a cubic polynomial, how the roots, so since it is a cubic polynomial, you might have three roots here, okay? I've just taken the alpha, beta and gamma as roots for the polynomial, cubic polynomial. And let us see how it is related to the coefficients like a, b, c and d in this polynomial, okay? So before uh, going on to this, uh, let me write the polynomial as p of x. So p of x equals, this could be factorized, right? When we solve for this, you would first take any common term. In case if there is any common term, you would take that common term out, okay? So I just, since the numbers are not given, I assume there is a common term k, which I have taken out of this. And then I, I factorize the equation, the, the cubic polynomial. And since they have given you the, the roots, I just take it as x minus alpha as my first factor, x minus beta as my second factor, and x minus gamma as my third factor, okay? So it would be factorized and the result would be like this, right? So let us solve for this to find the relationship between them. For this, what I do is I just still keep the k out and I'm going to multiply this and this, okay? These two factors I multiply. So what happens? It would be x squared, foil it, okay? You know how to do the foiling, right? First terms first, then the outer terms. So that would be minus beta x, right? Then the inner terms minus alpha x it is. And then the last term, so that would be plus because minus alpha and minus beta will make it plus, okay? And then you have this third factor here out. So let's do that now. So in the next step, I'm going to multiply these two, okay? These two. Okay, so what I do? And still I keep the k out till I solve the factors. I, I mean, till I multiply the factors. So what happens here? you would get x cubed minus gamma x square minus beta x square plus gamma and beta x, okay? Now when I multiply with the minus alpha x, it would be minus alpha x square plus alpha gamma x now i multiply with the alpha beta okay so that would be plus alpha beta x minus the alpha beta and gamma okay so i have just multiplied all the factors next let us put the like terms together so that would be k times so x cube let it be together and let's put all the x squares out so you would get i take the minus sign out so it will be alpha plus beta plus gamma x squared right now taking the x terms out that would be plus and the x terms are like alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma x minus you have alpha beta and gamma so finally you have got a x cubed plus b x squared cubic polynomial right plus c x plus d equals take the k inside so that would be k x squared minus k times alpha plus beta plus gamma x squared plus k times alpha beta beta 
gamma plus alpha gamma x minus k alpha beta gamma right now let us equate it now what will your alpha plus beta plus gamma be it would be like i have got minus k times x squared right x squared is equal to b x squared so cancelling the x squared what we have we have alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to b over minus k you know that the k is equal to a so k is equal to a so i replace the k with a so that will be minus b over a okay so you got your alpha plus beta plus gamma as a so this one we have got now the second one same way you are going to equate the alpha plus b alpha beta plus beta gamma so i just write that straight away the second thing you would get is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma will be equal to c by k so that is nothing but c over a and finally you would have alpha beta and gamma okay alpha beta and gamma will be equal to this is minus d over k okay that is nothing but minus d over a understood so these are the three values you have derived at okay so this is the relationship between a in, in a cubic polynomial the relationship between the uh, roots alpha beta gamma and the coefficients minus b by a c by a and minus d by a okay so this is how we write the equation it is uh, k x square minus k alpha plus beta plus gamma the whole square uh, plus k alpha beta plus beta gamma plus uh, alpha gamma x minus k alpha beta gamma okay so let us put them in a problem i have taken two a uh, quadratic polynomial and a cubic polynomial here you need to find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial and also you should verify the relationship between the zero and coefficient so let us first find the factors of this quadratic polynomial right so it is x and x here so it should be like minus 8 and uh, here it is minus 2 right Negative eight and minus two. So, what are the values you can take? Four and two, right? So, let us take it as minus four and plus two. So, we got the factors here. Now, let us write the relationships. So, what are the uh, roots here? So, you get your roots as x equals four. Or negative two. Okay, these are the roots now. So here you need to find the sum of the roots. That is alpha plus beta, right? Alpha plus beta. What do you get? You get four plus negative two. So that's a two here. Ah, uh, the coefficient is minus b by a, right? the sum of the roots should be minus b by a let us check with this equation here your e a is 1 your b is minus 2 and your c is minus 8 right so let us what is minus b by a so that is minus 2 over 1 minus of minus 2 sorry you have uh, minus side my 
b is negative 2. So minus of minus 2 will make it plus 2. Okay. So you can verify these. The sum of the two roots will be equal to minus b by a. Okay. And now the product alpha beta you will multiply 4 times negative 2. Right. So that will give you minus 8. For uh, alpha beta it is C over A, right? So let us check that C. C is minus 8. Minus 8 over A is 1. So you get minus 8. So you can find that these two are also same. So your product of the root will be equal to C over A. Understood? I have taken another quadratic equation. So here again you need to factorize. So before factorizing I just changed it. I rewrite it as t square minus square root of 15 the whole square. So how do you factorize it? It is like a minus b the whole square. So it is a minus b times a plus a plus b. b is okay. Let us find out the roots first. Roots are root 15 and minus root 15. Okay. Now the coefficients also let us write. Your A is equal to 1. Your B is equal to 0. And your C is negative 15. So what happens? Let us see the relationship. The roots alpha plus beta would be root 15 minus root 15 so that's a 0 so here let us check with this it is minus b by a right so here this is 0 by a is 1 which is 0 next alpha beta so for alpha beta it is square root of 15 times minus square root of 15 so you would get minus 15 as your answer. So let us check with C over A. C over A equals minus 15 divided by 1 which is minus 15. So you see the relationship here. These two are same and here too this is same.